been doing this. I'm a, I guess a UFO contactee or UFO summoner, some people call it. Um, it. It has been a gradual climb since I started. I would say when I first started doing this, I would see them a couple of times a week. Like I would see one one day and then, you know, one like on Tuesday and then another one like on a Friday or something. And then the next week, it literally just doubled and then the next week it doubled and the next week it doubled and doubled and it became a very very common thing uh i would see them at least every other day they would follow me in my car on the way to work um <laughs> and make patterns in the sky uh i have thousands of pictures uh, i have hundreds of videos um since I've been doing this, and now this is, I've literally almost been doing this for a year. The anniversary of me doing this is coming up. But I have so much footage, so much evidence, it's overwhelming sometimes. And uh, I've also been able to, because of the frequency of these, these beings coming around, I've shown tons of people in person. Uh, there was an instance where I was at work, and every time I would leave my, my job for lunch and I would go in the parking lot, these things would come up in, over the parking lot. And about 15 to 12 people saw it big gold ball in the sky for like four minutes and um, they couldn't explain it and I have pictures of it and it also got chased away by a helicopter <laughs> but and they saw that too but um, it's extremely frequent I would say I, I see these things every other day multiple times in a day I have weird occurrences with animals now especially birds and butterflies um, especially hummingbirds and um, it's um, Besides just seeing them, my, my life is completely different. I have a very different outlook on things. Um, a lot of the things that I do now are less self-serving and more trying to raise awareness about other things to myself and trying to raise awareness for other people so that they're um, able to gain knowledge and help themselves, heal themselves, connect more with other people, connect more with other beings because we're not alone on this planet. Uh, we're not alone in this universe, so we just need to get used to it. There's nothing wrong with being curious. And then that notion comes into your head of, you know, curiosity killed the cat. Some people hear that statement. And the fact of the matter is that that statement has never been finished. Curiosity killed the cat, if you look it up, is a, uh, it's a part of a poem. And there's a second limerick to that, to that, po that uh, poetic part of the line. And it goes, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. So that kind of stuck in my head and I decided to go outside on New Year's Day, appropriately, and I told two of my friends on Xbox that I was going to go do this, and they really laughed at me, and, you know, they were like, oh yeah, sure, sure, you're going to go summon and call up UFOs, and I went outside, followed Robert Bingham's instructions, which was to have a good feeling, um, look into the sky, and focus on one spot, and after I did that, I would say about three minutes later, something popped up, and ever since then, it's been nonstop. Uh, I see these orbs, I would say, every other day. I've had other very, very, very close encounters with other things. Not like, you know, standing alien beings yet, but I have had some very interesting uh, occurrences. So that's essentially how I got started in all of this. And um, it's, a, it's a great adventure. I'm excited about it. But it's uh, an adventure that I can't do alone. So I'm hoping that you guys and people like Fausto will come with me and we can explore this stuff together. I've been doing a lot of research in several different areas. The first thing that I started with, um, I would say three years ago, was quantum mechanics and quantum physics. And when you start looking into that, you start dealing with um, realizing that our intentions, our thoughts, literally might affect 
the uh, particles in the air, the particles in existence, which is what we're all made of, matter. And um, when I saw something called the double slit test, which you could look up on YouTube or something, um, it demonstrates that being an observer and having a specific intention or thought will literally affect an experiment um, and the outcome of that said experiment. And when I saw that, that was what kind of led me down the path to looking into um, the law of attraction. But the law of attraction is literally just something that has been recoined and rehashed, but it's already existed. It's existed since the beginning of time. And it's something that once I started doing more studies into ancient history, um, the ancient Sumerians, the Egyptians, or the Kemetians, not Egyptians, uh, because Egypt is a, a Greek word. Um, Kemet, um, Maya, the Aztecs, uh, the Aborigines, the Native Americans, they're all talking about the same thing that relates to the law of attraction. And then when you realize, okay, well, this relates to the law of attraction, and then the law of attraction relates to quantum physics, then you start to just make connections that you just didn't see before. Um, and more, the more and more and more that you study ancient history, um, then you start getting into a little more philosophy. And I was a child, I was always into philosophy, so I would like Plato and Herodotus, and I had read that stuff before, so it was just kind of getting back into it again. And then I could see even more correlations and more connections that I didn't see before, because I hadn't had all of these things to, uh, to, to um, be a foundation to find my way to this, this point. Um, and then after I started studying a lot of ancient history and philosophy, then there started to be some really strange connections and it started getting into a place that was pointing towards you know the gods in the heavens and when you realize that heaven is is doesn't mean heaven in the sense of puffy clouds and harps and you know uh the heaven that most people think of heavens in in ancient terms when they used it in a book or in writing literally meant just the sky so they said that their gods were in the heavens or in the sky studies of the pineal gland studies in sacred geometry and the flower of life um, also, uh, um, how to heal yourself, how to remote view. Um, there are so many things out there uh, that are literally possible. And um, if I can try to practice and do these things and display them on, on camera for you guys, um, I hope that that will make uh, a difference in the way that you see this phenomena. Um, also, there are tons of people out there that are doing this and they're really good at it um, that I want to meet and I want to you know, showcase their abilities in a way that people can see this in a, in a more scientific way and a more open way as well. Um, I would really like to go around the world and meet other people who are having UFO contact and talk with them. I would love to meet astrophysicists and talk to them about the possibilities. I would love to show them my footage and show them my, fit, my, my photos and tell them about my experiences and see what they think, if they're open to it. Um, I would love to meet some astronauts, pilots, uh, you, ufologists that have been doing this forever. I would love to go to Egypt, AKA Kemet, and go see uh, the things that I've learned about and, and read about from people who are in the pyramid code, um, talking about resonance and frequencies and stuff with the pyramid being possibly a machine, not a, not a temple or a tomb at all. So I really hope to do a lot of different things. Um, and it's not just me. There are so many amazing people out there that are doing crazy cool stuff. So I hope to meet them, I hope to showcase them, and I hope to show the world and the country. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't see a lot of people taking this, this subject matter seriously, um, be it pub the public, or professionals, or scientists, or politicians. Um, and I understand, because I used to be in their position as well, I understand, you know, thinking that this is a very far-fetched uh, occurrence. And because I've learned all these different things, and because I've, I've been trying to uh, explain some of the things that I'm experiencing, and I, I am to a degree, um, I also feel like there are other people that are experiencing the same thing as I am and they have no one to talk to, they have no one to refer to, um, and it's a very lonely place to be. But this is for sure a phenomenon that's happening and there's scientific data to prove it, there are eyewitness pr uh, data to prove it, um, testimony to prove it from all kinds of people, walks of life, pilots, doctors, um, physicists, 
uh, astronauts. They're everybody who is anybody in, in any field has had an experience with this kind of thing. So I feel as a, as a human being on this planet, it is my responsibility to try to pass on intelligent, helpful, um, and conscious, uh, conscious raising awareness information to everybody because I can't, I can't be successful on my own until I see other people successful as well. So I know that a lot of people are searching for answers and I know that a lot of people are searching for people who can give them answers and hey, I'm right there with you. Um, that's why I want to do this show. The show is to explore um, the other things that I haven't gotten into, like I said, metaphysical stuff and telekinesis and psychokinesis, um, because I know that UFOs are real. And this is something that everybody in my entire life, ever since my existence, has told me is not possible. It doesn't exist. I know for a fact UFOs exist. I see them all the time. I see them every other day. So what else is real? What else have I been lied to my entire life? Um, so I'm doing this show in hopes to find answers for myself and hopefully find answers for other people who are searching for the same thing. So thanks everybody for uh, watching this video, first episode, I hope you really dig it. And um, I really look forward to meeting everybody out there in person. I don't wanna just you know meet people through screens and stuff like that. I hope to meet you guys. Uh, I hope you guys come to UFO meetups and there's so much more to look forward to, you have no idea. So thanks everybody, peace in.